All right, good afternoon, folks. Good afternoon. I want to welcome you here to the Virginia Beach Correctional Center. And uh, we have a, a performance here today that's the first of its kind here at the Correctional Center. But let me do some housekeeping and remind you of this. We're not at Carnegie Hall. Kenyatta, no offense. We're not at the Chrysler Museum. Councilmember Berlucci. We are here in the Virginia Beach Correctional Center, and this is a working jail. Inside this jail, we have over 1,000 prisoners right now that are incarcerated. So you may hear a, a siren or a bell or a whistle go off. If you do, just look to one of the staff members, and we will guide you to the proper location. But we are excited to have you here. And I'm going to talk a little bit about our Road to Hope program. But before I get into our Road to Hope program, one of the staples in our program is Good News Jail Ministry. And I can tell you this, folks may not pray in school, they may not pray in the community, but when folks come here, they pray. They're looking for God. And to, to get this started off, I'm going to have an invocation from my pastor, Pastor Dr. Veronica Coleman, if she could come up and lead us in prayer. Good afternoon. Let us pray. Our Holy Father, we thank you and we bless you for this day. We thank you, God, for this great occasion that you have assembled us for, and we pray that you would bless our time together. We thank you, God, for these musicians, but we know that they may have been called many things, but today they are musicians, and they are bringing us the joy of music. So we pray, God, that as that music goes forth, that it reminds us, that it soothes us, that it allows us to know that there is joy for today and hope for tomorrow. Help us, oh God, to continue to be the support that they need, that even while they are here and even as they look forward to the day when they are released, we thank you for this community that has gathered, and we pray that we would continue to be inspiration to one another as we continue to trust and hope in you. We ask this now in the name of you alone. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Pastor. Now, let me talk a little bit about this Road to Hope program that we have. So this Road to Hope program is a, it's a program that we understand here at the Sheriff's Office is very important. We know that upwards of 90% uh, of these offenders will return to our neighborhoods. They will live in the community with us. So it's important that we make sure that we give them the skills and the training necessary to have a soft landing when they get out and become a tax-paying citizen here in the city of Virginia Beach. And that's our plan here. So we have many programs that we, that we tout, and, and this is a new one that we've just added. And I think we're in for a big treat today with this program. But I would encourage you to go on vbso.net and look at the programs that we do have because uh, we're always looking for community partners to join us with this program and, and looking for new ideas and new ways to make a difference in the city of Virginia Beach. And I certainly, I certainly appreciate all your help and input. So let me do a few introductions before I get started, and I think it's important that we do, because when you see these folks that, that I mentioned here, uh, it shows that they care. They care about the community. And we're joined here today by uh, city council members. We are joined by the mayor, Bobby Dyer. Bobby D's here. We have Vice Mayor Rosemary Wilson. Yeah, give it up. We have uh, council member Jennifer Rouse. We have council member Berlucci. I, I think council member Berlucci snuck in for some lunch too. So we we have council member Schulman. Council member Hutchison. And I saw him sneak in. We got Councilmember Taylor. From Congresswoman Jens Kiggins' office, we have Tyler Edmonds. We have the DOC Reentry Council here today to take a look at this. And this list goes on and on. We have public safety partners from the fire department, EMS, police department. And, and I could go on and on with the community partners that we have here. And it just shows a testament to the folks inside here that nobody wants to lock you up and throw away the key. We want to make sure that we can rehabilitate folks and that 90% that, that comes back to society, we give them a soft landing and they, uh, 
and, and they have some hope for the future. So that's what we're going to hear today. We're going to hear about some hope for the future through this program. And uh, again, it's my high honor to be here, to have you folks here, to see this and listen to this, uh, this great production that we're going to have. We're going to have a dynamic speaker come up here that's going to talk about his role. And I was meeting with him this morning, Mr. Kenyatta, and he said something that was very profound to me. He said, oftentimes, our second act is our best act. And amen to that, because he certainly has made a difference. So with no further ado, I want to thank all of the members of the Sheriff's Office. This would not be possible. And if you look around, let's give it up for those crime fighters. These, these programs that we're doing, many of them are unfunded mandates. But the staff and myself, we understand the importance of it, and we're out there trying to make a difference every single day. And I think we can do that. And so there's another community partner that we have that I want to introduce that, uh, man, I tell you, he, is, he has grabbed this program and run with it since day one. And his family knows him as Brandon Stokes, but in Hampton Roads, we know him as Shaggy from Z104. And Shaggy has been, he's been front and center with this thing, and I, I swear I think I might need to deputize him as much as he's been here getting this program going. But with no further ado, let me bring Shaggy up to be our master of ceremonies. Yeah. I know my way around here now. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, thank you guys for coming. It's the journey that the Sheriff's Department and I have been a part of since February is remarkable. It's by far the, one of the best things I've ever done in my career. I'm so proud of these three humans um, that my children are here. And my youngest son has come numerous times, and he's their manager now. <laughs> but what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you guys in a little bit how this all came about. But first, if you have your little cool top-notch pamphlet, I'm going to bring the guys up. They're going to do two cover songs, one by Sam Hunt and one gospel song. And then in a little bit, they're going to do the two original songs that they wrote together in this jail. In here. They did not come in here together. They did not come in here as a group. They did not come in here all professional singers. So I want to tell you that at least two or three of these members never sang harmonies until we got together. Is that right, fellas? And y'all sound good. So I'm gonna bring video up now. They're gonna do two covers and then do not go anywhere because you gotta hear the originals. Oh, by the way, selfish plug. We will play them tomorrow morning on the radio. Come on up, guys. BDO, y'all. Make some noise for these guys. How's everybody doing today? Shaggy's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Always like to get up in the morning and start my day off by giving thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ who saved me. Today will be no different. But in order for me to do that, and anybody else, you got to be willing to give yourself away to him because he wants all of you. And he promises to be there. And he will. Here I am, here I stand, Lord, my life is in your hands, Lord, I want you to see your desires revealed in me. I give myself away, I give myself away, so you can use, use me, me Lord. give myself away, I give myself away, so you can 
myself, I give myself to you. I give myself away, Lord. I give myself away. So you, so you can use me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I give myself away. So you can Take my mind and take my life as a living sacrifice, all my dreams and all my plans. Lord, I, Lord, I place them in your hands. I give myself away so you, so you can you use me, me Lord. Use me, Lord. Use me, Jesus. Because I give myself away. I give, so I give, I give. Oh, oh. Amen. If you haven't thought about giving yourself to him, you should consider it today. And I can promise you this, you won't regret it. Because even under the circumstances that I find myself in today, he's my Lord and Savior and he's never left my side. And he continues to bless me. My cup runneth over. My life is not my own. To you I belong. Lord, I give myself, I give myself to you, oh, Lord. My life is not my own, to you I belong. Lord, I give myself, I give myself to you, so I give myself away. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give myself away so you can use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Thank you, Lord. Next song we'll be doing is a cover by Sam Hunt, which is a country artist. We wanted to give everybody a little, a little taste of something, you know. Young, dumb, rowdy face Still hanging on to my bachelor days You were still praying for me to start changing my ways Thirty years old and still acting a fool Damn near the same kids you met back in school I thought it might have lost you Yeah, I thought it might have cost me the love in the lockup The night I got locked up Everything went wrong I got messed up, but it just stayed home, picked up my phone, what can I say? How you look like your name? If I 
finally gave it to me after the game. We floated on a breeze, more like a year in some change. Knew you were down for me back when we met, but I didn't know how down for me you really cared. You picked up my pieces, my only call. I knew you were in, baby, in for the long haul. The night I got locked up. You sound great. Um, behind every great team comes an annoying orange. And that annoying orange isn't the three gentlemen right there. It's a uh, deputy. I want to make sure deputy, right, chair? Sergeant, I'm so sorry. Uh, I've known Brandy for a long time. Paris, for a long time. She wrote me on Facebook every day for the month of February, every day, asking me to come up here and sit down with her about this program. I'm at Chicho's Pizza in Chesapeake, minding my business, and her and her husband come and attack me. And they wouldn't let me leave until I said, yes, no, I am joking. But you have to have somebody inside that believes in a program that can run it day to day. And even though I'm up here and my name and I'm getting all the credit on social media, if it wasn't for this sergeant's passion and this sergeant not saying no and saying yes, we aren't here. So I wanna bring Sergeant Paris up, please. And boom. I didn't stalk him on purpose. We just happened to go into Chicho's. Um, but without his help and without the help of my coworkers, honestly, this day would not go off like it has gone so far. We've put a lot of work into this, and I'm super proud of these guys. Um, when doing research to start this program, I had no idea where to start. So I just went to the internet, and I Googled. I reached out on Instagram to some famous people hoping, crossing my fingers, Dave Matthews, Jelly Roll, somebody would answer. They did not. But I came across a gentleman by the name of Kenyatta Emmanuel Hughes, who has a wonderful story, and it really epitomizes what we've tried to do here today. Um, I'm going to read you a short bio on him just to give you a little background of where he's coming from. And Kenyatta is a singer and songwriter collaborating with other musicians in prison and out to impact the, the world musically and the initiatives from initiatives like Voices Within and to address gun violence and serve children of incarcerated parents. He has shared his music from Sing Sing to Carnegie Hall, offering a live concert the same day of his release after 24, half, 24 and a half years in prison. 
His music and message explore the beauty of life, love, and the human condition, reminding all of us that we hold, all of us what we hold in common. And when I tell you his story, when he gets up here and he tells it to you, along with his message through song, you will all be blown away. And again, this is exactly what we're trying to do here in Virginia Beach. And I would like to call Mr. Kenyatta Hughes to the stage. Um, good, uh, good morning, everybody. Pardon me a second while I switch this microphone out, yeah. Um, no, I'm gonna use this one, this is, yeah. Um, I just want to say, for the record, uh, Shaggy, that that's also what happened to me, right, uh, on Instagram. And I saw this thing that's like, hey, you don't know me, but I don't answer those messages on Instagram. I don't answer that. I know what this is. But the picture, it wasn't showing cleavage. So I was like, uh, it might be legit. And then they didn't mention Bitcoin. So I said, okay, they, they, let me see what this is. And it turned out to be an opportunity. Um, so... I'm going to uh, start, uh, I'm going to offer a couple of songs and a couple of words, if I may. And I'm going to start um, with what is left. Uh, it is the first song on my upcoming first release uh, album, um, What Should I Say? And, uh, and then we'll, we'll talk after, after that. All right? Amen. All right. I appreciate y'all. Okay. Uh, we getting in the sound good? Are we good? Can y'all hear? Hold up. Let me see if I'm plugged up. And uh, mute it, because I am I know what I did wrong. Yeah, you mute it? Yeah. Okay, now you can turn it back on. Thank you. I was just thinking, what if this was the last time I ever saw you? What should I say? What could I leave you that would be sure to endure when it all burns away? Because it all burns away. And I hold all my hopes and discard all my fears Push aside broken promises, smiles and the tears The regrets, disappointments, the miles and the years What is left must be real, what is left must be love This is, but I believe you know, you know, you know, you know. I need you to know me. I'm afraid if you know me, you might turn away. Don't turn away. Just look past all the mess, all the armor and wall. Disregard my wild eyes. Stand when I crawl, what is left must be all, what is left must be love. See, the truth is, all of this means less than nothing. Nobody's touched by it, and all we really have is what we leave behind. So release the resentment you've held for so long. Make amends with your friends even when they were wrong. Seek forgiveness. Don't live in this past, because it's gone. 
let it go move along try to treat folks you meet like they feel what you feel you can tear down and destroy or build up and heal when they burn what can burn and stole what they can steal what is left must be real what is left must be Must be love. Oh, I was just thinking, what if this was the last time I ever saw you? What should I say? Thank you. Um, thank you. So, <laughs> um, the, the talk, the conversation that I and the sheriff had this morning was was it was nice. Um, I, was, I actually articulated some things I had not articulated before. I felt them, but I guess had not been asked the particular, or the conversation hadn't come to where, you know, where you, 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 you solidify what you feel into words and what you know to be true and, into words. And sometimes, this is a fact, the, physiologically, hearing something processes in a different part of your brain than thinking a thing. And speaking something processes in a different part of your brain than thinking or hearing a thing. So when you think it and you speak it and then hear it, that's, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing. There's something that is happening physiologically, right? Um, so I want to say that to know that we have to speak life. And this program is speaking life. What this program is saying, what this did was it said that you shall live and not die. And what happens, and I'm telling you because I've had the opportunity um, to go to places and, and, and be inside spaces. And I'm going to tell you that the buy-in from legislators and power holders, power holders are not always considered stakeholders. And I'm telling you because I've been in those spaces. And what this says is that we have not sent you away to be forgotten. We are not hiding you away. Three, he, said, he said three things. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was hungry, you fed me. And when I was in prison and sick, you came and visited me. So when you come in here, okay. Um, so this next song is, um, yeah, okay. I, but this time is, 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 time is not a real, time and money are neither actual real things, and yet they take up all our time and money as we neglect the real things, man. Love is the real thing. Okay, so um, this next song, I just want to, I, I just want to, that, 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 the bio really summed up a lot of things, but I want to say something. 24, I thank God I don't look my age, but my knees know every year. And I'm going to tell you that the time that I was sentenced, I could not imagine. To me, the, the age that I am now was, was not alive. Like, I, could not, I couldn't understand. I was sentenced to 25 years when I had 21 years on the planet. You, you see what I'm saying? And, and so I thought my life was over. I, I, because, and because I was guilty, because I did it. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and sometimes that, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to fight when you don't believe in yourself, right? If, if, and so I had to find a space, I had to find a place, I had to be given a knowledge that myself, was not necessarily what I had done, the worst thing that I had done. You can believe in yourself, even if that thing, however you came to be where you are, and even as you're fighting others, and you believe in yourself, and when others believe in you, there is hope, there is real hope, and you have to fight, right? This, this next song is What Are We Fighting For? And it's been called uh, anti-war, I suppose it is, I'm anti-war. I, I don't know anybody's pro-war, even when people are called pro-war, they're not really pro-war. That, no, you, now, I didn't say them folks don't profiteer off war, but that don't make them pro-war. Um, but the truth of the matter is we fight. Maybe it's in our nature, maybe it's a, 
a result of the first, that original sin, right? But the first pair of brothers only had one another, and yet Cain slew Abel. We fight. We can choose, if it is our nature then, what we fight for. We can choose to fight for the things that are important. We can choose how we fight. We can choose, and we can ask ourselves the question, because all, we're going to always fall short. This is what are we fighting for. And um, thank you all so much for having me. Thank you, Sergeant, for reaching out. Thank you, Sheriff Rocky, for, for, for the Shaggy, for this community. I had, I've only been here a day. It's wild. Y'all got so much art and culture going. This is wild. Like, what's going on down here? How nobody didn't know? Well, I guess people know, just not me. But I was, in my, in my defense, I came home in 2019, so I'm catching up. Uh, okay. Pardon me. Got to get used to it. What are we fighting for? Nobody wins in this game. We both know the score. I don't want to play no more. What are we fighting for? Can you tell me why I hate you? You hate me. Oh, for heaven's sakes, we got to find a way we can love some more. Come on, open up the door. What are we fighting for? We're killing each other. For the sake of a God, we won't agree on his name, but let him shoulder the blame. And heaven knows it's a shame. And I don't even believe you believe in the words that you're preaching, the lies that you're teaching to the people you are deceiving. Oh, what are we fighting for? Nobody wins in this game. We both know the score, I don't want to play no more. What are we fighting for? Can you tell me why I hate you? You hate me, oh, for heaven's sakes. We got to find a way we can love some more. Come on, open up the door. What are we fighting for? Listen, how can you rest when you're doing the methods you're using, the weapons you're choosing? Everyone's losing when you win. And what kind of peace do we pray for? Teaching people to hate more, reaching children to make sure. We cry for peace and we make war. Oh, what are we fighting for? Nobody wins in this game. We both know the score. I don't want to play no more. What are we fighting for? Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you want, follow me on Instagram. This is this feels always feels weird. I don't know why. It's because we just it's because we're in the midst of a spiritual experience, and this is a spiritual moment. So then, social media feels weird to me. But that's because I wasn't exposed to it. So whatever. Instant. I'm on Instagram. Please follow Yada Man Music, or you can like say Kenyatta Emmanuel. It'll find. It makes a difference. It will increase my reach and we will expand our message. Thank y'all so much for having me. Shaggy. Yeah. 
Uh, I come. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you want to come on and, um, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, actually, with the, the guys, can I, can I sit down? Oh, it's awesome. All right. So, before we bring the guys back up and they do their two original songs, this genius had an idea. He has a song coming out, right? Yeah, yeah. And he needed some help, and he asked me to be one of the temptations. <laughs> That's what you said. That's what you said. And I said, I can dance, but I can't sing. <laughs> So then we said, well, why don't we get these guys? So you want to you want to get them to come up? Well, what's up, Did you guys join me? I, I, I appreciate y'all join me and help me sing this song, man. Um, this is. Can you return to his microphone to him? Oh wait, no. Actually, I'm gonna have to ask one of y'all to hold it because I gotta take your stand. I, well, I walk in and start immediately imposing as I ask you for a favor. Um, uh, I appreciate. It. This is holding out hope. And um, yo, can we just? It, it takes a certain type of courage to reimagine yourself, to, 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 be, to, to say I'm not satisfied with what I have and I look forward to a better future. I got something better that's gonna happen and it's happening for me and I'm gonna move and I'm gonna walk in it and walk in it now before you can see it because we walk by faith and not by sight. And yeah, so I just wanna just, just really like acknowledge y'all. Okay, pardon me, I don't like muscling up people's mic stands because that's how you break them. <laughs> This is Holding Out Hope, which is also on the upcoming release, What Should I Say? It is the closing song, and I appreciate uh, the brothers for coming up. <sighs> Thank y'all for having me, and uh, I look forward to coming back, man. I'm very excited about this relationship. I look forward to coming back. I look, coming, I look forward to being in this space and performing in this space again. Like, yeah, all right. Uh, I'm just going to move this. Are y'all live? Are y'all good? Are y'all hot? Yeah, yeah, yeah we hot. Oh, they're hot. All right, cool. Let me just, uh, I'm turning this on. Good. All right. I just want to give a shout out. Uh, Edwin over here has been handling the tech work and has been very communicative. Big Ed. Me, and I really appreciate that. The folks that set this up and transformed this room, because we were in here yesterday and it was a gym. And, and then they did, and then I came in this morning and it was this, like all this stuff, like stuff. So, yeah. Right? Volleyball. We could yeah, have a volleyball game right now. Sorry. Got to reverse that polarity. Guess I'm waiting for a miracle. Guess I'm praying that I hear from a God who I have to believe made us to be better than we've been behaving lately. I'm just reaching for a blessing, requesting a little help and answers to questions that maybe we should be asking ourselves like, can't we agree there's something wrong if I feel the need to scream my life matters? Why in the world to you does that feel like an accusation? And how many guns does one man need? And how many children have to bleed and die before we concede that this math, it ain't adding up right? But I'm I'm holding out hope. This is all some passing temporary insanity. I'm holding out hope. Deep inside, we we'll recognize our common humanity. I'm holding out hope. The way. 
way things are is not the way that they have to be. No, holding on to love, holding off despair, and I'm holding out hope. I'm holding on to love, holding off despair, and I'm holding out hope. on my TV saw a man who says he works for me then he offered a new brand of history told me not to believe what my own eyes see took to the streets to get the news got hit with about a million views but 999,999 I'm so afraid they couldn't even hear what the first one said Found a quiet place where I could listen to a soft-spoken preacher teaching something different, that it's less about me and it's more about you. And he wept for a heart that was broken into. And as his tears fell, they watered the root of a tree that bore the most beautiful fruit. And he cried out, begging the hungry to try it. But since it was free, Nobody would buy it. I'm holding out hope. This is all some passing temporary insanity. I'm holding out hope. Deep inside, we we'll recognize our common humanity. I'm holding out hope. The way things are is not the way that they have to be. No, holding on to love. Holding off despair, and I'm holding out hope. I'm holding on to love. Holding off despair, and I'm holding out hope. So hold on when you feel you're getting tired. Hold on when you feel you're getting tired. Hold on when you feel you're getting tired. Saw that preacher the other day. He saw me and just turned away. I asked him whether he'd be coming back. He said we killed every prophet we ever had. I refuse to believe all is lost and justice is dead as Jesus on his cross. So since love's resurrection is who we need, then this is the gospel I choose to believe. I'm holding out hope. This is awesome, passing temporary insanity. I'm holding out hope. Deep inside, we we'll recognize our common humanity. I'm holding out hope. The way things are is not the way that they have to be. No, holding on to love. Holding off despair, and I'm holding out hope. I'm holding on to love, holding off despair, and I'm holding out hope. I'm holding on to love, holding off despair, and I'm holding out hope.
All right. Make some noise one time, guys. So now, a lot of you are here because of these three gentlemen. They recorded, um, I was told, not sure if this is true, first off, I am not even allowed to be here unless my boss, Bennett Zier, and Don London are here, who gave me the green light back in February to say go for it. My co-host, Natalia, who I made come, or I was gonna talk bad about on the radio. <laughs> I said I would give her a cell number out and say she had, I don't know, new kids on the block tickets. I don't know. But anyways, these uh, three guys have been working really hard. And I was told, can I confirm or deny, this is the first time ever, not just in the city of Virginia Beach. We're going to check. First time ever inmates have ever been allowed to leave the facility to go to a radio station which we did, and we went on the air live, which we did, and then to later down the road go to a recording studio and record two original songs. This is the first time. I wrote, and by the way, side note, this keyboard right here, I wrote on Facebook because... Sergeant said that we needed this keyboard for him to play. I wrote on Facebook, a young lady who I've never met writes me, says, I have the same keyboard, you can borrow it. I said, nobody will touch it but me. She said, my brother passed away a year ago. That's the only thing he left us. Now, I really want, you really want to get in your feelings and you can go to my Facebook if you think I'm lying. Today's his anniversary of his passing. So, she gets the keyboard, I go on Facebook, and I say, I need somebody to help me with these gentlemen. Lex Luger, Grammy Award-winning producer, helped go through the auditions. 80 inmates came through these doors and auditioned for me and Lex Luger. I was here two or three times a week. No one gave me no gas money. <laughs> Got a bad sticker in my window, hoping no one gets me. I go on Facebook, Stu and Brian, can y'all stand up please? Stuart and Brian are two local producers who did not know these guys, did not know anything, said, Shaggy, we wanna help. They came down here, they met them. They both said yes, they sent records. And then Alan, go ahead and stand up. Alan is another gentleman who helped in the studio. These three guys, I didn't know until this event. They've never been here, and they are a part of the reason why these two songs are about to do for you. Thank you, fellas. I appreciate you guys. The first song is Missing You, originally wrote and recorded by these guys, and then after that is I'm Not My Number. I, and we're going to play both of these songs on the radio tomorrow at 7, 30, 8, 35. Shameless plug. But when I tell you the reason why you're here is what you're about to hear right now, this came from this jail, what you're about to hear. Fellas, let's go. I wrote this song for my wife. I love you, Coco. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. You put me in the mind of Cleopatra. That's why I can't help myself, baby girl. I'm Anytime you're around me, girl, my life's complete. Yeah. So I never spend another day out in these streets. I gotta be with you. You're the only love that keeps me holding on. Hey, can I be with you? You're the only girl who holds my heart. Hey, cause I'm missing you. I can't make it another day, feel like I'm gonna die without you, baby. Hey, cause I'm missing you. Girl, I feel like I can't breathe. Come and be my respirator, please. I'm gonna die without you, girl. I'm missing you. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, hey, cause I'm missing you. And I feel like I can't make it, no. Baby, what you do to me is so unnatural. You're more than anything I've ever needed or asked for. 
Anytime you're away from me, my life goes through some changes. I go in a panic and get short of breath because my heart beats faded. Hey, I can't make it another day. Feel like I'm going to die without you, baby. Hey, because I'm missing you. Girl, I feel like I can't breathe. Come and be my respirator, please. I'm going to die without you, girl. I'm missing you. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, hey, I'm missing you. And I feel like I can't make it. No, oh, 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 oh I'm missing I'm you. Missing you. This is the song that I originally wrote as a ballad for the same situation. And I presented it to Shaggy and Lex Luger. And when they heard the song immediately, he was like, yeah, that's the song right there. And, um, you know, throughout the course, we made some changes because I, these guys right here, I mean, I, they, they're not singers, believe it or not. <laughs> they're rappers. And, um, and through practice and hard work and dedication, with the support of the staff here, we were able to bring something together that, that sounded quite all right, if you ask me. So the name of this song is Not a Number, and that's what we're here today for, just to be able to give the public a chance to see that, yeah, we made some bad decisions and we made some bad choices, but that we're not going to be defined by the decisions we made that were mistakes. In fact, we'll use those to build upon to be better in the future. So... I really appreciate Sheriff Holcomb um, allowing this to take place. I really appreciate Sergeant Paris for believing us, Shaggy and all of the time that he's put into this, Captain Johnson for coordinating and doing all the things she's done. And really thank you guys for the tracks that you put down, the time you put in, the effort, and thank all of you for coming out today. So this is not a number. Everything that I've been through, so many tears, so many peers, blow plenty of years, ducking them cops, cut through a clock, trust me they ride, so many fears, so many stairs, but I'm stepping up, talking my soul, stuck in the can, talked in a hole for cutting the brims and busting the poles, you lucky you know, boys the men, men the bosses, wins and losses, taking it stride, you lost in office, switch my lane, get my aim or get tossed in Sussex. Stuck in a cage, ripping, they stay snitching. You age quick in the wave, different. Get your surfboard, something to work towards. I was raised different. I was raised different. Yeah, I'm itching to switch up my ways. Listen, I'm kicking facts, no fiction. We can flip the stats and then get them back. Nah, this ain't a joke. 
I'm doing a doggy paddle to stay afloat. They got me treading water, trying to be a better father. Oh, oh I'm not just, just a novel. And what I've done down to define who I am as a man. You call me a failure. Look down on me, cause it's clear that you don't understand. Look at all that I've been through. What I've been through in life, most these people can't say. You see what I've been through. Won't let it define me the choices I've made. Hard colder than any symbol. Cause all the that I've been through When you locked up, you just a number They don't understand what I've been through Locked up dealing with issues Spend the time dealing with miracles Giving visions through the rear view I can tell y'all what I really I came from poverty, oh, you proud of me I've been trying to change my mental Yeah, I'm feeling godly, they wanna stop me They don't know what I've been through They label me as a menace I pray to God just for sinning They done took my fourth amendment. amendment No protection for the enemies Thank God I'm still living Yeah, yeah, 25 years over your head Yeah, it's really hard to survive that Judge looking at me crazy when I'm coming in They already decided to answer Hoping they change the law Yeah, just for the trenches That's in all cap Said on my head, I'm different, I'm finna trench it down Baby, I'm not just a number And what I've done, done to define who I am as a man You call me a failure Look down on me, cause it's clear that you don't understand Look at all that I've been through What I've been through in life, most these people can't say you see what I've been through Yeah I'm more than the system is made in me, more than raw emotion, more than what angers me, more than mental illness, more than you label me, more than a conqueror, no more complacency, more than grateful for the chances you gave to me, time and time again, don't know why you favor me, but I know for certain, God made a way for me, gave me grace and y'all can't, can't take, take it away from me, you say that it's joy, but I feel like you hurting, hurting me. me, tell me you helping, I feel like you jerking me, still throwing dirt on my name, now it's irking me, tired of the hating and feeling uncertain, learn to manage my ego, lead by example and stand for my people, Give it up to the Lord and focus my vision like sight through a peephole. Try to encourage the positive people, the negative comments, you know I just stay on my mission and stack up Doritos. Taking my shot at success, free throw. Learn the meaning of love and suffering, prudence and how to stay humble. Taking the role and travel to show all these people out there that I'm not just a number. And what I've been done to the final way was a man. You call me a failure. You say that on me because it's clear that you don't understand. Look at all that I've been through. What I've been through in life, most these people can't fail. You see what I've been Thank you. This speaks to what Shaggy was talking about. It's called the power of community. And when, Sheriff, what, how long ago did you take office? September 2023. September 2023. Sheriff Holcomb came in and he wrote the plan. He had a vision. He made it plain. You wrote it down. And this is the product of that vision. So we want to just thank our Sheriff for giving us the opportunity to bring that into fruition. Thank you guys, Shaggy, everybody that you named. I, I can't even begin to name all the people that you named, but that speaks to the power of community. And we just wanna say thank you so much for everything that you've done. At this time, I'm just gonna do some special recognitions real quick. Um, we have Sergeant Paris come up for a second. This is not for her, however, Whenever there's a funeral, we bring flowers, right? Everybody brings flowers and they lay them out and we talk about the person that passed away. Well, her husband experienced a medical emergency and we almost lost him, but for what, 20 minutes? 20 minutes, 20 minutes later, he would have died. So rather than bring flowers and wreaths, we're gonna give this to you to give to him while he's alive. So as we wrap this up, I want to call Shaggy up here. Shaggy, we've got a presentation for you we would like to present to you. And, uh, and, and, and folks, i got to tell you, uh, the work that's been done here today is awesome. And, uh, and Shaggy, I want, to, I want to present you with this. Have you, have you boys come on up? Yeah, I made it, guys. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> 
And, and for the record, Shaggy, that is not a get out of jail free card, oh. just so you know. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Shaggy. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you, KJ. I appreciate you. Well, we're going to wrap this up in a timely manner here. We got just a little bit over an hour. And let me tell you, when I was approached with this project and I, I discussed it with the staff, uh, they, said, they said, Sheriff, you're taking a big risk doing this. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm taking a big risk not doing this. And so when we can make a difference, I think we need to take a chance to do it. And I'm proud of this program, and I'm proud of these, these inmates that just performed, and I know they will be returning to our community, and I don't think we'll see these three folks in here again. I promise you that. All right. So, so as we wrap it up, I want to say, in, in the words of my grandmother, rest her soul, my grandmother would always tell me, she would say, Rocky, the world is full of good people. If you can't find one, go be one. So let's all be good people. Thank you, guys. Thank you.